Hello? What is it? You want to open Puppy and Fates? What is it? Which one do you want to open? You want the Fido promo? What is it? No, 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 wait. I'll open it for you. I'll open it for you. Okay? Let's open it. So welcome to an opening of what I'm calling Pup D and Fates or maybe Pal Doggo Fates. But these tech sticker collections are all about the dog Pokemon, right? And you guys have seen my sweetheart Fiona in the intro and we're going to open one of each of these tech sticker collections. So the first one comes with a Graveyard promo, the second one with a Fido promo and the third one with a Mastiff. But before we crack these open, you guys might have seen that in the channel description it says that I collect sketchy Pokemon cards. And uh, this is what I mean. I'm not. I'm not saying that I collect dodgy cards or fake cards. I've picked up the Umbreon, the Flareon, and the Eevee, and I will slowly be building up the entire set of nine because I really want to own the whole set. I I believe that uh, this illustration style is really beautiful. I know a lot of people don't like this style because of the plainness of it, but I truly love it. But let's get back to the matter at hand, which is these beautiful deck sticker blisters as you can see there's clearly no pretty way of removing these from the blisters the blisters are definitely going to get ruined but look at these promos we have the mastiff along with this code card for you guys right so it comes with a gigantic mastiff sticker i mean look at the size of this sticker i don't know i think they wanted to use these or give them out to kids for i don't know putting it on your laptop i think the promos are more interesting than these stickers i'm pretty sure a lot of people are just going to have these stickers lying around for absolutely no reason but i got lucky i feel i have a good batch of promos uh, another last code card for you guys i think i got a good batch of promos which have been cut really well which is again very rare in today's english printing right well centered well cut promos is very rare but i think i picked up a good batch and i'm very happy about that i really tried to get fiona here but she just doesn't have the patience for these openings she will just roam around i mean i'll have to bribe her with treats and it just feels wrong she just seems so impatient it just feels wrong to have her sit in front of the camera for so long when she's absolutely not interested in these cards let's see we start off with a raps car and we picked up the clive essay or <laughs> wow these tech stickers are amazing these tech sticker collections hit really hard I'm telling you, there's something about it. A Rapska a Baby Shiny followed by this beautiful Clive SAR. Look at the details. I really, really love this card. We have the Psyduck there. We have all the trainers. We have Eri. We have Clive sitting over there in the middle. Um, we have the Sylveon with the Penny at the back. I mean, we even have Mela over there. Just brilliant. What a beautiful SAR to start off this video. I think we're gonna get really lucky today. So yeah, I mean, these baby shinies are a set of 129 cards by themselves. So it's like a set within a set. And man, it's been a task to collect them. I've been trying to do it with shiny treasures. Uh, I finally gave up on pulling them from the packs and I just picked up an entire set uh, from, a, from a vendor. I just picked up all the singles. But let's just keep these beautiful hits in the back. I can say that this is a master stroke from the Pokemon company. I think if you love Pokemon, you've got to be an animal lover, right? I mean, Pokemon are basically um, the magical animals of our childhood. They're kind of pinching us right in the nerve there. They know which buttons to push. They know that these dog lovers are going to go crazy about the set. And I truly do like this tech sticker collection. I mean, the three doggos, the three doggo promos, they're really, really cute. And we go with a double Clive. It's Clive on Clive action right here. Not bad. From two packs, we've got three hits. I must say that uh, I think on a recent Poke Vault video, I saw that he also got the same combo. So again, there, I don't know, man. There's something to talk about, you know, when it comes to batching in these sets. I very strongly feel that there is batching going on. Uh, so if, if there's, there's a chance that a lot of you guys would have got these two as a combo or, you know, some something else like you'd see it on YouTube. Somebody has opened it in the same order and you must have picked up, uh, you know, cards in the same combo. And uh, if you have sound off in the chat, because I really believe that these things come in batches. So if you are going to pick up that Clive, you're most likely going to get the Clive AR. But the next pack gives us a Toad's Crew X and this pack art. I mean, look at that. Uh, even that baby Pikachu. I mean, it's got such a innocent little face. It's like, huh? I think the designers of the set just went to the management and said, how cute do you want the pack art to be? And the management just said, yes. Iono, the playable Iono, a Clefa, a cute, cute Clefa. Again, that cuteness factor. 
followed by a fanfy reverse uh, just cuteness overload you know what it's all about it's all about that cuteness and they just went up to 11 they just turned up the cuteness factor up to 11 with all of these artworks and all of these pack arts everything about the set is just super cute super shiny base psychological manipulation but let's get into the uh what do we have sixth pack let's go another uh, getting into the graveyard a dog pokemon again chinchao varum charmander technical machine crisis punch dash burn nimona's backpack gimme ghoul on the reverse followed by a noibat and a mabo stiff that i think fiona really likes the mabo stiff when i try to open this pack with her in the um in the balcony i'll show you a little clip over here she just uh she just really likes the mabo stiff i don't know i think maybe it's the coloring i think she has the same color as, of fur as the mabo stiff i always thought she looked a little bit like a mighty and i have a very nice mighty and a collection which i call the fiona collection uh, which is like my cute way of uh, you know connecting with her that was my experience the first pokemon i caught after my starter was a poochiana and that mighty anna stayed with me till end game so yeah i have a lot of love for mighty anna and of course my fifu which is her nickname <laughs> looks like a mighty anna <gasps> yes that is a beautiful hit guys that's a beautiful hit a pikachu baby shiny let me just get my japanese one hold up here it is this is my japanese pikachu shiny and there we have it i found the english version i mean if you look at it side by side you can obviously see that the english version has a little bit more of a shine right because of the border uh, the japanese cards don't have that border shine but the actual artwork texture i still feel the japanese one is slightly better uh, especially in the radial pattern the radial pattern is much more evident in the japanese version versus this so here you can see the emphasis more on that diagonal kind of shine and of course the overall borders gives it a better shine but what do you guys think like do you prefer the english or the japanese version i know a lot of people don't like the fact that the pikachu coloring in the shiny form is not as different as um, its regular form i mean a very slight difference in tinge i would say it's like a darker orange but that's about it so a lot of people hate on the pikachu because of that i really really enjoy opening these blister packs because of course the doggo promos stickers i'm not too sure i don't know pokemon could have done maybe coins uh, or maybe given better stickers like i don't know with some kind of a texture these stickers seem very plain so i'm not sure if the stickers are going to get any use from me i'll probably use it as some background decoration or you know put them stick them on some etbs empty etbs that i have but really i don't think that the stickers themselves are of any use oh wow <laughs> we are just getting hit after hit so let's check out the haul from these nine packs right we have the zatu baby shiny clefa rapska these are the three promos that come inside the blister packs themselves uh, we did pick up the clive on clive action the clive ar some people call it the chibi clive because it's in that chibi art style along with the big hit the english twin to my japanese pikachu baby pikachu in shiny form so i had to get my girl fiona in for the outro i was able to share my collection goals with you guys i was able to find the pikachu twin for my pikachu collection and of course we were able to open pub d and fates for all of our doggos and all you dog lovers out there hi baby i recently did my first rip and ship on this channel and we opened three etbs of pallian fates out of which i was able to pull a mu ex sar and the iono sar along with a baby shiny charmander and a mu shiny please make sure you check out this video it was an amazing amazing time thank you guys so much for watching have a great week i'll catch you guys on the next one till then happy hunting bye bye guys you a wild mighty and has been found